Go to the Tools panel of Illustrator and select Ellipse Tool. Hold down the Shift to create a design here. Now create another shape. I'm going to go exactly the same. It's going to be a circle. Okay. You could use stars. You could use squares. Any sort of shape. You can create your own shape, of course, using the Pen tool, Curvature tool. I'm just going to recolor it. So I'm just going to go with a slightly different color there. And I'm going to select those both. Make certain this design is smaller than this. Well, you've got, this is the container shape. So once you've done that, what I'm going to do, I'm also going to go to Window and Astute Graphics, because I'm going to show the Astute Graphics plugin, Randomino and Space Fill. Space Fill first. Please check out their website. Got tons and tons of great features, freebies, demo trials, etc. So here's Space Fill. And what does it do? Well, it fills a space or a container. Just go up here, make, and you can see what it does. It fills it with those dots or anything else, if that was anything else you got there. And you can randomize it so you can see you can run through there. You can also change uniformity so you can make it more uniform. Personally, most of the time, hardly any difference. However, what you can do, say like enter three or something like that, and you can see the varying sizes there. You've got small, big, etc. Now you can vary the actual default initial size. I've gone for 30%. I think probably 100% it was probably a bit too big. But you can vary it within here, which is really quite handy. Also, you can vary the opacity. You can also, key thing, the default, for some weird reason, is a weird default, it's one. I'm not certain why one is a good idea as a default. Personally, 10 or something, so you can see the actual use of the, the tool. So I've gone for 200. So key thing is multiply, fill in art. For me, that's the most important line. And I can randomize it again. I'm happy with that design now. Click expand. Now, once you've done expand, you've got this design. Now, I'm just going to move space fill out of the way. Randomino kicks in. And the key thing is this. At first, when I did this, I was running through. I was thinking, you know what? Let's just go and randomize it. So I've just deselected this ignore grouping. Randomize. Doesn't seem to do anything. Weird. You think, oh, doesn't do anything. Not much use. However, ignore grouping. Because if you go to the Layers panel, and you can find that in the Window menu, Layers panel is super useful throughout Illustrator. It's like the key panel. If you find things you can't do or realise you think, oh, well, doesn't it work or something, quite often I always find it's going to be somewhere in here. And you can see the structure and you think, oh, that's why it's in groups. Or there's another one, Appearance panel is useful. Just showing behind the scenes what's happening. So now you've got Randomino, and it recolors design. So I've got all these reds. Now I don't want that. I want. To... Now I've done videos on Randomino, so please check those out. And you've got here color, live effects, etc. So you can see you can vary. Obviously, a load of other things. But I'm going to go for color. That's the most obvious one. That's the default at the top. But ignore grouping. So if I now randomize, you can see what happens. Now it randomizes the container as well. Can't do anything about that. So it randomizes all of it. There's no limiting feature on the path. It would be nice if you could actually say container, just ignore. So ignore container would be nice. But they obviously they haven't done that. So right, you've randomized it and you can see now your design. So there's your randomized design. And again, you can always, of course, remove all the groups. If you don't want group in the first place is ungroup, object ungroup. And then you can see now you've got rid of all the groups. And the layers and now you've got your design there and you can always then turn around and say select that one and I'm going to make it black and you can see your end design so it's a great way of creating a very sort of dot filled design or anything star foot all kinds of different designs can be used here and of course what you can do you can use Pathfinder to subtract etc and etc hope you found this of interest thank you much